Well, right now, I'm sitting in the parking lot in Little Caesars in Dundalk. I just got out of class, and I'm pretty hungry. So I'm going to attempt to smash an entire large pepperoni pizza by myself using Evan's technique by putting two pieces of pizza together. And I've heard that's pretty effective. So here we go. Bon appetit. I didn't have a lot to eat yesterday. I didn't have a good dinner yesterday at all. And it's about 12 o'clock right now. And I didn't even have any breakfast. I've been in class all day. So if there was ever a time I was going to do this, I'd be right now. Also, my gas tank is on empty right now. I've got a little over 340 miles to this tank. The gas light came on on my way coming to school. And I'm debating about whether or not to drive home without getting gas first. I should be able to make it 10 miles to get home. I can definitely get gas cheaper at BJ's rather than BP or Exxon over here, so I'm not sure. It's a tough call. I think I should make it though. If I wanted to have the old audacity. Hmm. I can never be a competitive eater. This is already, this is two slices, almost done. I still got the whole box to go. When I eat too fast, I feel like I'm going to puke, and um, it just doesn't work for me. I have to really take my time, but the downside of taking your time is you get full faster. If you eat really fast, you can kind of trick your body, and you can eat more. Um, I'm not very good at doing that. It's also the St. Patrick's Day today. Um, I am wearing green, but it was a complete accident. Like, my mom bought me a shirt for my birthday back in February, and it's March 17th right now, and this is my first time wearing it, literally. I just looked at my drawer, there it is, I was like, oh, I haven't worn that before, so I just popped it on. I didn't even realize it was St. Patrick's Day until I got to class, and my teacher was wearing this green Irish shirt, and I looked down, and I'm like, oh, that's funny, I'm wearing green, too. So. That's kind of ironic. Mm -hmm. All right. Done two slices. Six more to go. <laughs> it's a big piece.
Mm, yeah, I take my time. The best part is little Caesar's pizzas, five bucks for a large. You go in, they have them ready for you. Pop down five bucks, they give you a large pizza, and it's ready right there. I can't find a better deal than that anywhere you go by far. And I am wearing my specs today, as you noticed, because I hate putting my contacts in early in the morning. I just, I don't like it. It's just easier to put my glasses on and just roll out. After I get done this slice, most of the battle will probably have been completed because the other four slices are fairly small. So, I guess we'll be able to do it. And it is dripping on my shirt that is brand new. I haven't even worn yet. Except for today. I just carry napkins in my car. That's another... Mm. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna burp. Mm. Yeah, I should really start carrying napkins in here or something. I got some tissues over there, but I'm not used to have my own car yet and having a lot of stuff at the ready. Mm. Man, I'm dripping pizza sauce all over my upholstery. I'm gonna have it killing me in my car. I wish I had an exact number how many calories this is. Because that's what I'd really like to know. Caesar's employee sitting next to me in his car and he's just going out. I don't know if you can hear me. Just smoking a cigarette, having a cookie. That's pretty funny. I'm going to be so messy after this. I feel like a fat slob right now, just indulging in the quiet, lonely place that is his car, away from all his family and friends to judge and look down upon him. Mm. It's a beautiful day out today, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna be. It's really nice out today. Mm. My bud James Lindsay in town today from Ohio. Supposed to be coming over to chill later on. Apparently, he's out with his family having lunch in Delaware or something like that. So he'll be down later. In the meantime, I'm just trying to hammer this pizza. I'll fill up my gas tank pretty soon, and I'm going to try to hammer out what I can on my paper when I get home, because that's due on Tuesday, and I don't want to be working on that the whole time when he's here. So... Wow, we're 10 minutes in. 
I am working on a third and fourth slice simultaneously. My mom is going to flip when I come home and there's an empty pizza box. I'm like, what did you do? And be like, I handled the business. That's what I did. Not in a very timely fashion, though, but it is what it is. Hmm. And dude, my my English class was so boring today. All we did, we watched the Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. It was obviously filmed in the 70s. That was pretty bad. There's a lot more partial nudity than I thought there would be. Unacceptable in the classroom. What are these teachers thinking? Hmm. Yeah, I'm ruining my shirt because of pizza grease right now, but whatever. It's going to be worth it. I'm just trying to eat in moderation here and at a steady speed so I don't just lose it in front one because that would be terrible. And that said though, just because I'm eating in my car right now, doesn't mean you can. Don't try to eat in my car. I am a slow eater, I will admit that. I'm very slow. I take my girl time. Whenever I go out to eat, I'm usually always the last person to finish. Everybody's just kind of talking, like waiting for me to finish. Like, Brian, come on, man, let's, let's go already, and I'm still finishing up. It's like, dude, just enjoy my meal, man. You know? And in case you haven't noticed already, I do chew like a cow. It's just who I am. Everybody tells me, like my friends and people at work, you know, chew with my mouth closed. I like to chew with it a little bit open and get some air in there and get the flavor and let everything serenade. That's just me, though. I know nobody's going to agree with me on that, but that's just how I eat. My one friend doesn't think I'll ever be able to get a girlfriend with my eating habits. I think she'll invite me over to dinner with the family or whatever and um, he has this theory that her dad is going to specialize in making beef jerky and um, it'll offend him if I don't try any and then I try to politely turn him down as much as I can but then it doesn't work and I just have to eat the beef jerky anyway and then I start just chewing like a cow and going to town and then he just says I can't go out with his daughter. <laughs> That's my one friend's theory and I hope it doesn't happen but so far I have never encountered anybody that makes their own beef jerky and would be offended if I didn't try any so I got that much more for me. So, God forbid. <laughs> I am really getting hot in here, I'm telling you. It's, mm. I got the sunroof open. I didn't get any, I haven't had anything to drink today either, so I'm going to be mad thirsty when I get home. 
You know, it'd be a nice idea for this car as a trash bag because I have some tissues right there I can wipe my dirty hands off on. But then it's like, where do I put it? Like in my dash? Like, I don't know. That might be something I have to invest in as a good trash bag for this little car. Alright, uh, four pieces of pizza gone. I got four left. Okay. Oh. Alright, probably couldn't see that very well, but that's okay. I don't think anybody doubts that I have pizza in this car. Alright. This is pieces five and six. Simultaneously. Just for the record, I've never eaten a whole pizza by myself in my entire life. A whole large pizza. Um, it's always been a goal of mine. My uncle, my whole life, was always telling me, you know, oh yeah, I was eating a large pizza when I was 14. And he was like 140 back then, and I'm like 170 now. So it's like, you know, I should be able to do that. So, I've always wanted to and never been able to do it. So I'm hoping right now, as you all witness, that happens right here. On March 17th, 2012, St. Patrick's Day. And it's probably a little after 12 o'clock right now. I don't know. I can't look at my phone with my hands. As, well, I'm filming on my phone, so. I can't look at the time. I never, and every every uh, driver passing by is probably just looking at me like, what a moron, what a fatty, eating in this car while filming himself. Yeah, you know, it's funny that like really really humongously fat people I probably do this in shame and secret, and I film myself doing it. So it's a big, uh, it's a big flip around to lifestyles. Mm. Definitely not doing my body any favors right now, but I want to gain weight anyway, so whatever. I think this technique is working right now. Eat two at a time. Because I don't feel like stuffed, like I feel full, but I don't feel like anything's stopping me, you know. Like I normally would at this point. So somebody's got a good technique with this two at a time, it works. But we'll see. Eighteen minutes in this is an incredibly long video. Man, I just want to do this thing so I feel like a man. Uh, this will make me feel like a man. It will. Wow, it's almost 20 minutes. It's crazy.
Almost done five and six, man. Just two more to go. And I hope I can pull this off. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, for the record, this is how much I ate last Saturday. Mm. Got six slices. I, mean, I probably could have, but I just didn't feel like it. Watching basketball laying around, and I think my mom just ate the other two. So, I got two more right here. That's going down. Drive home all bloated and crap. Mm, I hope I even make it home with the gas the way it is. My goal was to make 400 miles for this tank. Uh, it seemed logical because I had 200 miles on the halfway point, so the odometer said. So, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get 400, but 340 still works for me, or 350, whatever it turns out to be. That's still pretty good fuel economy right there. My boss has like the exact same car I do, and she said that she fills up like every 300, which is about what I do too, just to be like on the safe side and just so you're comfortable and you're not like stretching it. But me being like a cheapskate, <laughs> I just, I try to get as much as I can out of it, even though it can be a bit freaky when you're driving around with your gas light on. Now my cell phone is going to be dead because I'm filming this video. <laughs> Not, excuse me. Man, I wonder how many hairs they like baked into this pizza as like part of the ingredients. I'm trying to figure that out. Go away, hair. It's humongous. Mm. Hmm. By the way, I got my paper back today that I wrote on like a short, short literature store, and I thought I got an A, but B plus. I don't know if you saw that, so give me a B plus. Thought I was gonna get an A. I had the opportunity to, re to revise it, but I probably won't even bother with it because I got so much other stuff to do with physiology. It just makes me want to puke. So, in my world, I'll pretty much take a B plus any day of the week. That's A-OK -okay with me. 
even though I really do need to be getting A's where I can to raise my GPA. So when Towson looks at it, they're not like, oh, this guy's got like a 2.4. I think mine's in the mid-twos right now. It's not really exceptional. But it'd be nice to just get A's where I can in the easy classes. So and this is it, guys. This is the final one at a little over 26 minutes. I can eat a whole pizza in half an hour. That's pretty good. But who knows if it'll be a half an hour at this point. A final piece. Mm. I'm probably never gonna want to buy a pizza from here again. <laughs> I'm probably I'm taking too too good of advantage of this deal, and I'm just gonna run it in the ground, and I'm just gonna get so sick of it. I can see it happening now. End up spending twice as much for something that's just different. I'm gonna be so sick of eating this all the time. This is like a weekly ritual, pretty much. Mm. Man, I might actually have to stop and get something to drink at like a gas station or wherever I end up going, because, oh my gosh. Okay, can you imagine like how much sodium this is right now? It's like a whole large pizza. Head east on Keyway towards Fairway. Okay. And now my GPS just Head northwest on away. Life Avenue towards Copper Place. Then turn right onto Mary's Boulevard. My GPS just came alive for some reason. I don't know why. I thought I turned it off. But apparently not. I was searching on my Gas Buddy app to see what cheap gas was around here because I'm not really familiar with the Dundalk area too much, even though I have to go to school here every Saturday. I'm still not too familiar with it. So. And I really don't know. I have a feeling I'll end up stopping. I gas station on the way home just because I don't feel like risking it. Because my day is already going pretty good. I don't want it to get really bad, you know what I mean? Mm, I got the little Caesars girl out here. She's totally got her headphones in. She's just spinning the sign. I'd show you, but my hands are really greasy, and my phone's like on my car mount right now. And I don't feel like touching it, because I'm really full, and I just want to get this finished. It's a shame, though, that more people really don't more people don't buy pizza here because it's so cheap. Like, I don't know how you can argue with that. See, at least now, when I come home, I'm like, hey, I ate a whole large pizza by myself. Evan and Daniel can't be like, no, you didn't. You just went in Little Caesars and you paid five bucks for a a pizza box. I'm like, nope. I took this video. And it's almost a half an hour long. And it's unedited. Unedited. Blah. So you can suck on that. Now I'm getting cocky and I still haven't finished it. If I throw up, I'm going to be so pissed. Because at this point, all I have to do is shove it in my mouth and I'll throw up. If I tried to just, yeah, I throw up all over my beautiful car. And that would not make for a very pleasant Saturday afternoon at all. So. Hmm. I'm getting a little full now.
I guarantee you that my mom will probably call and interrupt this video because I took 15 minutes longer than normally would have to get home and she's probably worrying her brains out. That woman, I swear, dude. Oh, something has to be done about that situation. Well, she's a mother, and mother's worry about their little babies growing up and making their way in this cruel, harsh world. Ah. Mm. A little bit to go, baby. Come on. I suck myself up. Ooh, my people, our five people are gonna be so special. I'm slowing down a little bit. It would be super nice to have a drink right now, I'm not even kidding. Mm, you're probably just going to get gas on the way home just so I can get a drink, because boy, it's brutal to do this without any water or anything, because soda wouldn't be good because soda would, would build too much carbonation in your stomach and it would build gas, thus filling me up even more. So if I wanted to really do this with a drink, water would really be the best option, which I don't even have right now. This chick knows how to spin a sign, I'm not going to lie. Mm. Mm. Come on, big horse, you got it. Mm. It's like when you're in labor, not that I know. We just gotta take deep breaths, man. Mm. There's deep breaths between contractions. Was that just me or some hot girls just go in the low season? Looking at my rear view mirror like a pervert. Mm. Mm. Of course they show up in half an hour. After I got it, and I'm indulging in an entire large pizza in the seclusion of my Honda Civic, watching the world go by. Oh, I gotta shut up and start eating. Hmm. I think, can you imagine all the cholesterol? Oh, 
the humanity. Not much left. To me eating a large pizza by myself. I don't know how many inches this is, by the way. I don't know if this is like 12. I don't think it's 12 inches. I think it's probably. See, I don't know if it's 16. I don't know. It's definitely not what you would get, at Uno or something. There's no way I could smash one of those babies by myself. I probably couldn't even smash a uh, stuffed crust Pizza Hut. There's just all the extra cheese and the bread and the crust. That's, that's a lot. And that's the thing, though. You have to realize, large pizza has a lot of bread too, and that bread fills you up. Believe it or not, that's a lot of a lot of stuff and bread. So there's a lot of bread in a large pizza. So it's not just the cheese and the sauce and the pepperoni. So it, it, it's a lot of bread, which really does it to you too. A lot of 51-year-old men smoking on their Harleys today. Makes sense. It's good weather. I'd be doing the same thing if I was 51, too, minus the smoking. Not much left. Mm. I'm feeling it now, folks. This just proves I am the slowest eater of all time on the face of this planet. I'm at 40 minutes. <laughs> How much left? I'm not gonna let that stop me. Oh my gosh. So close. So close.
One bite at a time, baby. One bite at a time. I'm gonna walk in my house with the pizza box all closed. So it's got a little bit of weight in it. Probably just set it down on the table. All closed up. I just see how long it takes my mom to open it. Mm. This is killing me, the suspense. This is a moment I've literally waited all my life for. Here I am, 20 years old, finally doing it, finally saying I can do it. And I have proof my hands are so nasty. Everybody's honking at this check. It's getting really obnoxious. Mm. This is a little cute. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what just happened though. Sign spinning a girl. She just had this like look on her face and she was like, Ew, WTF. And she really said, w I'm not going to say it, but she was like, What the? F and she just kind of like shook her head and she walked back and I didn't see what happened. I don't know. Mm. And probably some guy did something lewd to her driving by. I don't know. I don't know what happened, that's pretty funny. <laughs> she just walked in back inside Little Caesar and she's like, Man, I'm done sign spending for today. Like, boy. These guys wanna honk at me and stuff, man, I'm going inside. Yeah. My friends, is a mission accomplished and a job well done. <laughs> Actually, the girl just came back out. She signed spinning again. I guess whatever happened didn't traumatize her too much. Well, thank you, all of probably three or four people that watched us. If that, because it's so long. I'm off to fill my tank. 
Trying to fill my belly the other game with some liquid. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day, everybody.